long ago, in a time known as only September, we attempted the Mother of All achievement for CK3, only for Paradox three episodes later to release the new patch and break the save game. So, here we are. Things are looking a little bit stable now with CK3, and I did promise that we would come back to this, because I know a lot of people were enjoying the series. We are going to have to have a fresh start, because again, it's a new patch. Uh, we were playing with some Iron Man uh, mods that unfortunately have not been updated since then, so this is just completely base game Crusader Kings 3, as God intended. It is no nothing at all. No Iron Man compatible saves, no nothing, with our character. There she is, High Chief Des Dorama Dora of Kano. Once again, we are going to try and go for the Mother of All achievement, which I thought was an impossible achievement. Turns out it was quite literally impossible because no one could get it before. Apparently that has been fixed. If I start this and find out they've broken it again, we're never trying it again. Let's get straight into it. We know how things go. We know how we're going to handle the first kind of few episodes here. And we know some of the story events that we've got going in. Game rules are more or less just default. Um, with some things like significant independence. So we don't get hideous border gore. Besides that, everything. You know you can't change much if you still want achievements. So let's dive straight in. I've disabled cloud saves for this save game. Because those were one of the reasons why we could not go back to the campaign. So those are never going to happen in any other series. Uh, just because they, they don't really give me much personally. Um, but they have... Have all the potential to break everything. So here we are. Doramadora of Kano. We have a son. We have a sister. We know we well, let's just get on with the story event straight away here and let them let them kick off and let us make our mind up here. So obviously the point is we, we we've got to reform the religion and convert the whole of Africa to it. Quite a sizable achievement. Um realistically the difficulty comes from the first starting the, the first few starting days uh after that you know when we get a few episodes in we can either snowball or work our way up as a vassal through a different realm like we did last time the big difficulty really is time uh it, it, it is the case of converting the whole of africa with your religion is going to take bloody ages because it, it just will because there's so many different provinces so we are that, that's going to be the big difficulty i think it's gonna be a lot of time skips during that part um but this is the hard part. So let's see what we can do here. We have to... Um, I think we, we have to go for female preference. That's kind of the point of the campaign, isn't it? Um, if we don't do that, of course, he will potentially take over. Uh, and he will potentially ruin everything. So I, I'm going to go for this one. Um, the the, the Magagia do not need men to carry on their legacy. We're going to go female preference because that will unlock a whole bunch of game mechanics. Um, particulars will be the only kind of female preference uh, equal realm around and if we go for things like seduction we can basically play this entire game uh, we can basically keep every male ruler in our pocket that way so let's see what we can do our sister will remain our heir that's exactly how we want to go along with things um ideally i'd like to divorce him immediately and get a new husband and go matrilineal try and breed uh intelligent or something like that into the dynasty we'll actually try that to start off with we'll see if we can um, let's go for inheritable traits. Bear in mind that uh, possessed, of course, for this campaign is is a good thing. Um, so if there is no one, we might want to see if we can just sort by possessed instead. So there is one intelligent character. If we can take second husbands, if I'm not mistaken. Consorts, that's it. Um, ideally, I want to get that guy to our court. Uh, the intelligent guy. There's no inheritable traits at all that we can take as consorts. We might have to do some invitations, some seductions, that type of thing. Seductions obviously don't matter if we immediately take them as a consort. So I'll marry our sister off to the intelligent guy, matrilineally. Um, see if we can start working on a eugenics program pretty early on here. So you can have him, and we'll see what we can put our mind to. So, what do you think? Should we double down on warfare? Which isn't really this character's strength. You know, just honest, trusting... I mean, a charismatic negotiator. I think we kind of have to go diplomacy, and I think we can really play that with intrigue the best. So if we go for seducer, start seducing people, it'll also allow us to take some consorts. We might be able to get genius if we're very, very lucky in the first generation. Or, alternatively, we, we marry someone who's, like, uh, robust, um, or whatever it's called these days, uh, Herculean, um, something like that. And then we can really come out swinging with a martial character, perhaps. So I think we're going to start things up with the temptation focus, and we'll just see if we can get ourselves some, uh, some consorts early on. Let's go reset to default. Actually, let's go all, but within Diplo range. Um... Now, to be fair, we can seduce, say, rulers, like this guy, for example, um, who is intelligent. We could seduce him. Obviously, the kid would be a bastard. We'd have to legitimize it. Probably piss off our husband. He's already ally we've got. So, ideally, at least to start off with, maybe we might want to take that gamble later on if we don't get any good successes. For the time being, we want to stick to any unlanded. Uh, Diplomat is inside here. Let's just go by, uh, preferably, uh, male. And also, preferably, inherit. Oh, you can't say inheritable traits in this window, can you? Because of reasons. Um... 
We'll try Genius to start off with, see if we can dig one of those up. Hogan uh, for Coley of uh, Yenna or Jenna. Um, oh, wow, he's good. Possible to invite him to court. He is on the council, but if we if we manage to seduce him, we could potentially bring him over. I'm going to start with this guy. Go big or go home. Why not? If we get lucky, we end up with a genius kid, first generation. That puts us on an incredibly good start. Oh, because we're honest, we lose. Oh, shit. Well, that's annoying. It's a tiny little bit of stress, and we can always work that off in the time that these seduction plots are actually going to finish. So that doesn't matter too much. We could take any old consorts uh, just as a... Just as a method of getting some kids of our dynasty. You never know, we might get extremely lucky and, and just get some random inheritable traits. Or we might get a good education. I think we might as well just go incredibly broad with things. Bear in mind we have our husband as an ally. Um, we are part of his realm, aren't we? Oh, we're not actually part of his realm, we're independent. Um, so I think we immediately come out swinging. That was the mistake I made last time. I spent too long not really pursuing our goals, not really using our allies to the best advantage. Um, I think we just need to just really hit the ground running. I think we did done fine last time if the thing didn't break. It's not like I made any significant misplays or anything like that. But let's just really hit the ground running, get out there. Piety symbol is different there. Weird. Okay, fair enough. Um, go beer. We'll start off with, again, they're vastly inferior. Anyway, we'd be able to take them out single-handedly, but we can call in our husband. So that is always worth going for. Right, get in there as soon as possible. Boom. This war's already over. That's already one province in the bag. And we're Pergonan, too. Focus a lot on the dynasty this time around, you know. Uh, we'll, we'll focus on trying to make sure our family members are landed. We'll stick with just women this time. Because uh, almost every CK3 playthrough we've done so far has obviously been very, very male-orientated because of... Ah, uh, because of the times. So, it's quite a nice change of pace to actually play as a, a, a kind of female dynasty. Um, a little flame is and justice. We won't take as long to get there if we keep just going county to county. I think we probably should take a county off of this guy. Um, even though we can't take the whole thing. Because he's the other powerful character in this region. So, I think we should do that and then call our husband to war. It loses 150 prestige. That's okay. Doesn't matter too much. And then let's just guarantee that we're going to get this in the bag. Oh, we didn't really need to call him in. Oh, there is his other troops. Sorry, it's away at war. Got it. Or it's called an ally. Something like that doesn't really matter. Our daughter. Um, Shorter Dura. What were we naming them last time? What's our last naming scheme? I really don't remember. Give me a second. I'm going to go to the idiots in Discord and see if they've got a decent naming scheme for this campaign. I mean, never to ask Discord for anything again. The suggestions were type of animals you see on Safari and sand. So I'm going to go for one slightly better. I'm going to have types of cheese. So I'm going to call you. Uh, and I'm also going to accidentally release my own tier list of cheese uh, throughout this series kind of subconsciously. We're going to name the bad kids, bad cheese. And we're going to name good kids, good cheese. Uh, so you, you're a basic kid. Very standard. And you know what the standard cheese is? That's right, it's cheddar. I'm going to call you Cheddar Dora. Welcome. Uh, and that's basically all we've got. Christ. Child of consorts. It gives minus diplomacy off the bat. Wow. I suppose we'll start educating you because you will be our, you're our heir. God, that's not a good start, is it? Not really that there's me like, oh, we're going to genius right off the bat. We'll be fine. Mm, not quite. <laughs> not quite. Are you going to follow me up here? Please follow me. Hello, please follow me. There we go. We're good. Please help. Uh, a champion of Lima was wounded by Baru. Only wounded. That's fine. Something from the holy book. Does he like holy books? He does like holy books. Maybe because he's a different religion. That was a bad idea. No, we're fine. There we go. Okay. That was a little bit touch and go there for a second. Could have had some uh, significant setbacks, but I think we're okay. And he likes me. Come on. <gasps> for this, I would do with you a hundred times over. Get into court. He can't come to court. Why? We're not except zero. Oh, come on. Uh, send him a gift. 74 opinion of you. That's got to be enough, right? No. So that religious champion is on the council. We're not granting the rank of master. Elope. Marry in secret. Um, I mean, he's our lover, right? So we've always got a chance of getting getting Babby be born by him, I think. Um, so maybe we don't need to invite him to court. But it would help if we could take him on as a consort. Man, I can't believe he just won't join us. If we murder their liege... Oh, God. <laughs> I was going to say, if we murder their liege, uh, that might be enough to convince him to... Well, during that brief second where it's not on the council, we could bring him over. Um, but I guess that's not the case. That's okay. Look, we've seduced a genius guy. We might still just become Perganant from that alone. Um, right, so we'll try Intelligent next. That's all I'm going for to start off with. Um, Barkit. Okay. A chance of you coming to court. Minus 55. I think we'll get him. Um, seduce. Zero. Not a chance. Okay, fine. Hogan. Rogan. Uh, seduce. 20%. Balls. And Sakio, seduce, 75%. That's what we like to see. Um, minus 115 chance of coming to court, though. Good God. Uh, no commander. My guest. Oh, not for long, you won't be. Welcome. One of the big things I didn't last last uh, series either was raiding. Um, pretty much just ignored it entirely. Oh, no one must ever know. We're honest, but it's potentially a genius kid. 
In a wise one's broke. Never. Um, can I trip pregnant alone? Child of the true uh, Love a secret. That's up our man. And also our husband, I would assume, as well. Um, probably matrilineally married. Are we now? What? Well, why is this kid not our... Oh, he is. What? What happened there, then? We're matrilineally married. The kid is our dynasty. I'm so confused. Oh, but he's disinherited. Oh, that explains a lot. Um, right. No, no one must ever know. We'll become stressed. That's okay. Achievement unlocked. Stressful situation. You're goddamn right. We could become a pisshead. Or we'll take the 60 stress. And you know what? We'll, we'll, we'll just hold a hunt. Just hold a hunt. Not a problem. Seek the aid of the spirits. Spirits, I seek you. Now, one thing we should do early is offer ourselves uh, to the spirits. I've been told to this a lot. If we become possessed, we do have a chance of... Um, I, I believe we do have a chance of getting congenital possession. That causes plus 10 opinion because spirits are, are um, veneered is the word I'm thinking of. But that's definitely not right unless you're going to finish them with a nice wooden uh, skirting. No, uh, what's the word? Venerated. There we are. Not veneered. <laughs> ah, don't veneer granddad. Not recommended. Is my presence here not enough? Come on. What a waste of time. Now, apparently, ah, I think they still didn't fix it. Somebody pointed this out. We could do this over Discord. I think we can press this button over and over and over and over and over because it doesn't check until you've got the aid of the spirits until this point. So next time, we'll see if this is still scummable. Hey, I actually got an achievement I didn't have there. The things we do for love. Um. Oh, sorry. What was that? What did I accidentally do there? Um, have your lover saved you from a murder attempt? Oh. Because of the hunting. Oh, that's quite cool. I would assume. Sorry, I didn't read it. I was too busy distracted with the, with the, with the spirits thing. Um, hunting trophy. Prestige point five. Uh, we've got prestige retinues, right? So we might as well go for that. And we are home. Little less stress ridden, but still not phenomenal there. Um, we can have a feast. Um, which is 23 more gold, which to be honest, after this war, we might be able to scrounge together. Not quite. Um... We'll take that for the time being. We could have just pressed on and, and siege another province, for example. Um, but I think we're all right as it stands. So, you. Did I not marry you off to, to Hogan? Oh. Mushroom or marriage? Yes. Marry those off. Give it to an intellectual. That was the guy we were seducing anyway, right? Oh, that was one of the ones we were looking at seducing, but we couldn't. I don't entirely remember. Has a rational, brilliant mind, does he? Yeah, I think we can go for that. Yeah, there we go. Um, right, so we only need a little bit more gold. We'll have ourselves a feast, and that should hopefully deal with any downsides. Oh, he's fucking done it. Daughter, female preference, genius. Right off the bat. Look at that. You are going to be a mozzarella. Mozzarella. Is it double Z, double L? I can never remember. Hang on. I'm going to make sure you're right, because you deserve the honor. Mozza, uh, double Z. Hang on. M O double Z A R. E -L -L -A. Yeah, it's about right. We're fine. Excellent. My daughter, Mozzarella, who I'm hoping is our successor, right? Cheddar? Well, I thought it was female preference. Is it going to update now? Female preference. Oh, oh, sorry. Cheddar was a daughter. Oh, Cheddar. Fuck. I could be persuaded to denounce her. 300, this, uh, sorry, 100 um, renown this early on really isn't a big deal. Like, 100 net renown is nothing, but potentially getting genius into the dynasty as a long-term thing, that's massive. Bear in mind, he was the only genius character, and the only reason we succeeded was just getting lucky. That's a 5% inherit chance, brother. I can't take up that. I, I think I'll probably just end up disinheriting them. Um, well, what do we need for disinheritance, specifically? Um, this head interaction, we, do, we just don't have 75 renown. Oh. Or we can denounce them. Denouncing them. Denouncing them doesn't help. Yes, we just need to disinherit. Um, yeah, okay. I'll spend the 75 on that then. That's absolutely acceptable. All right, let's have a... Oh, we can hold a Mr. Communion as well. Um, yeah, let's always do that when available. There we are. Um, and let's always have our Feast too. So I'll mark that. Fair enough when we get the uh, similar to Zoroaster. And we do get the piety from Feast. So one can pay for the other. Plenty of learning lifestyle experience that way. We are ill. If we die now, I'm going to be very angry. Because we are very close to getting a genius kid to start off with. Uh, yeah, whatever. Be ashamed of yourself. Um, did a great job. Uh, oh, my husband deserves the credit. No, he does not deserve the credit. Uh, we've got a physician, right? We do not have a physician. Balls. We are in an activity. We can't even search for a physician. Getting ill before a feast is like the worst time. There we go. Okay, give me a physician. I'll, sp I'll spend whatever it takes. And we're not in an activity. Don't lie to me. Right, go. Who have we got? 
11 or 11. Um, she is robust, so, I mean, theoretically, she's much better. Let's keep her, then. Um, Dorama, great name. Welcome. And we've got a perk as well, so let's go for... Um, I think we'll start with the seduction scheme power. That way we can keep other rulers attacking us. Like, can him seduce him? Then he wouldn't go for us. Um, well, he will go for us, but not in the warfare sense, hopefully. Shit. Physician. Do no more than what is necessary. We're gonna die. We're pregnant. We're actually gonna die. Oh my god. Come on. Don't do this. Don't do this. Not before I can disinherit. Your truce with him ends. Great work. That's actually fantastic. So now we take out this guy again, right? Uh, yes, we can. That's awesome. Um, fuck. You're feeling fine. Ill in 780 AD and pregnant. This is a death sentence. We might as well take this guy out then quickly, huh? Seeing as he's right there. Um, might as well use our our lack of truce at our... Okay, go. Seduce him. The sir. <laughs> Just goes up to him. Waddles up to him. Heavily pregnant. Sneezing everywhere. For you, I would do this journey a hundred times over. <coughs> Becomes our lover. What a strange man. You have some... I'm, well, I'm not going to shame him, but you are uh, you're an interesting guy. Well, that's another guy that we're potentially getting intelligent kids out of, so I'm not going to complain too much. Right. Kill some troops. Make sure they haven't got enough to siege, which apparently they still do. Christ, that's a surprise. Uh, another kid? A son. Boring. Uh, I'm going to call you child of a concubine. Oh, it's just occurred to me. I actually don't know that many cheeses off the top of my head. Um, Edam. Edam's actually quite good, so I feel like it's a wasted, that's a wasted cheese right there. I like cheddar, too, but the point is he was a very mediocre kid. Um, to be honest, every cheese. Every cheese is good, with the exception of feta, which is vile. I would rather... It's like eating one of those uh, pencil rubbers, erasers, that you get at school. Call to arms. Uh, let's try pensive. Oh, good work, cheddar. Um, right, let's move in. We've got to take this out, and then we're done. War's over the second we capture this. They're not going to be able to take anything else now that we've... I mean, we've battered their armies. 54 troops. This is in the bag. Another very safe, very easy, very straightforward war. Making our dynasty larger and stronger. -er. More land for our daughters. Look at this. Five out of four, though. Um, if we put our... Oh, because we have no available spouse. We can say if we put our spouse on stewardship, it wouldn't be a problem. We can make a duchy, though. Oh, just need $125 reduce. Wow. This is already better than the last series. Now, this guy's blobbed. Or is it... Are these two separate... Oh, they're separate rounds. Then he's just over the top. Um, 265. We could go to war with him as well. Um, let's drop our troops. Our husband's at war. He's fine. He's not going to lose here. Um, Dendy, though. If we go conquer county, might as well. He's only got 284 dudes again. My God. I'm going to go heavy on the warfare here. That was my problem last time. I let other people snowball when we should have been the ones doing the snowballing. Going for his capital. That's, that's a good plan. Troops are down. Got him instantly. Look at that. Very nice. Holy shit. Um, and now we quite literally can only expand upwards. 167. I mean, we can. There's no reason not to. That's towards one of our holy sites as well. So I haven't got a problem with that at all. Um, how's our family doing? Right. Let's make sure they're all educated. I'm pretty sure they are. Um, oh, yeah. You're disinherited. Um, we're already educating you. Uh, you need to be educated by us. Oh, well, us? Uh, I mean, we're not bad diplomat. I don't know if we want to train them in diplomacy. Um, let's see who, what guardians we've got access to. And then we'll make the decision. Um, let's get rid of you. Um... We got a very good marshal. And I think a, a, a marshal based character next would be phenomenal. Although, with genius, do we want to put a genius on the front line without any backups? Probably not. Um, that's a tough one. That's a really tough one. Um, I mean, the marshal is a great educator. Let's go ahead and remove him right now, but I will potentially put you back. So, diplomacy is us. Um, we've got a good marshal. I mean, we have a good steward. We have a good spy master. Learning is irrelevant. Um, learning will be good, though, because when we get the bonuses for learning education, potentially wise man, things like that. Um, but we can always get those by communing with the spirit, so that's not a big deal. I think I'm, I'm genuinely going to go martial. Sod it. There you go. We're, as long as we're careful about leading armies, as long as we get the, the perks that give us bonuses in defense against that, I don't think we've got a problem. Right, my friend. Uh, Takeda. Towards our north. Um, we, we either go for you. How big is Kanem at this point? Weaker than us, right? I mean, with us and our husband, we could take him out. No time. If we go conquer county. Oh, they look a lot larger than they are because it's all desert in the middle. Well, we could always move around through Takeda and get a border that way. Um, let's go up there. Right. Give me some uh, Give me some rally point there. That'll do it. Right. Troops. 867. Just to double check. Double their... I mean, essentially double their troops. Not quite. Actually, nowhere near, but that's fine. Um, well, let's do it. 
Just keep going. Never, never stop with the warfare. No need to. The troops are going the long way around. And to be honest, I think we can probably safely ignore them. Um, if we just take his capital out here, that should give us... I mean, it might not give us 100% off the bat, but it will give us a bloody high war score, seeing as his capital and the war goal. And then by the time we see them coming over, we'll have this done. We can probably go and clap, up, clap them anyway. Do you want to become a witch? Go to practice his witchcraft. To be honest, I don't really know what witchcraft does for us. I don't think... Is witchcraft looked down on for our religion right now? Um... Witchcraft is accepted. Okay. I, don't, I think witch was, uh, witchcraft was broken up until the recent patch, wasn't it? So we might as well give it a go. See what we can actually get out of it. Right, there we are. Let's bring you guys down. See if we can stop them sieging the capital. Fast as you can manage. Thank you. Uh, Sibida. We had a Sibida before. I hate the way they float. It's frightening. Um, I'm going to call you... Uh, shit. Cheeses. Um, I've done cheeses before. I think I've done cheeses before. In, in a CK2 series. Oh, well. Um, Gouda. How do you spell Gouda? G-O-U-D-A? I'm pretty sure. There you go. She's not very Gouda, so we'll name her that. Um, and we've got Mother Many Children. General Opinion Plus 5. Doesn't make much sense, but thank you. Gouda is sickly. Gouda's not very good. Gouda's, Gouda's a low-tier cheese, in my opinion. Oh! We're honest, and it's still we're still actually in stress, aren't we? Um, we're going to be host another feast. Still got to wait another... We've got two years on that one, and the hunt was slightly before that. So next year on the hunt... Okay, well, that's not too bad. We should be fine in that time. We need to give away some domain in a second. I was kind of hoping we could hold out till our daughters are old enough and then just give them the land. But I think we're on partition anyway, so it won't matter either way. Um, right, let's kill the last of their troops and this should be the war over. Ooh, they had a lot more advantage than I expected. That's from the mountains, but there we go. Bit of a gamble. We'll have to let our troops recharge a little bit there, but no problem. We didn't lose anybody. And we've got a new intrigue lifestyle perk. Very good. Right, okay. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, as for intrigue, to be honest, I don't think we need to stick with it much anymore, so I'm happy to move over. Good diplomacy. Um, Praetorian Guard is quite good, isn't it? August gives us plenty of prestige. Wouldn't be too bad. Level of fame impact. Commission epic is really good for renown. And early on, I think I want... Um, I should have really gone family focus and still gone into August, but that's okay. Um, I think I want to get, as soon as possible, because we've now got genius in the family, I think we want to, as soon as possible, try and get the... Uh, Noble Veins Legacy. I know I always tend to go for that or Desirable Match, but it, they are the best. I don't think there's any debate in that. Or at least start with uh, Noble Veins and then go into something else later on. But guaranteeing that inheritance is just so powerful. I know I talked about it a little bit before in the other series, but I'll just mention it qu quickly that, that actually having two inheritable traits don't guarantee it. I talked about it before in the other series, um, but just for those of you who are perhaps not watching Venice or perhaps only want to watch, you know, kind of Iron Man based game CK2 stuff. Um, the way it works is only if, if you have the identical two traits, you have a 40% chance of inheriting it active, which means you actively have the trait. 40% chance of inheriting it inactive, which means you don't have the trait, but you are marked as someone who can pass it on. Um, and then you also have a... Um, a 20% chance of nothing at all. That actually happened to us in the other series where it says it's guaranteed inheritance. It's actually not. But with Noble Veins, because it adds 30%, it is a guaranteed inheritance um, with obviously the chance of upgrading it to there. So it's always good to get that one early on because then it works kind of as you would expect. A Contrite. Um, that's actually not bad. We expose Witch and Lover. Or we can go for Flagellant. Now, Flagellant, when done correctly, isn't too terrible. I'm going to go Contrite. We'll give out the fact that we have lovers. And we'll give out the fact that we're a witch. I'm alright with that. It gets rid of all of our stress. Which makes it disgustingly powerful. Um, we are a Contrite. We are, we are an adulterer. Um, this is a crime to us. Oh, it's a crime. Wow, I didn't know that. Wow, I should have been a bit more careful with that one then. Um... So they can imprison and revoke our titles if we were to have a liege, which of course I'm going to worry about, so that's not a big deal. Got to be careful with that one then. And we can make two different duchy level titles. Oh, cool. Um, we'll try and take out Dende again soon. What, how long are we at truce with you for? Um, you here. Two years. Okay, fine. So we actually can't go to war with anyone now. Um, we, we've, we've expanded too much. Like, he's our ally. Um, those obviously got a hard border all the way down that way. We're at truce with him. We're at truce with him. So we are now stuck for warfare. On the plus side, though, it gives us time to build up taxes, things like that. I want to give these away to family members. Um, a champion. What about, like, our sister? Does she want some land? Sister. Here, have some land. Grant title. I'm going to give you both titles, actually. Why not? So what don't we want? Um, so that's the duchy capital. So obviously you want to keep that one. Um... Looking out there, that's not bad either. And what's this, the Duchy of? Kingdom of Katsina, and then this one is the Duchy of... The High Chieftain of, da, uh, of of Kano, which of course our husband holds right now, but we'll clap him later on. I mean, that's great. I mean, look at this. Five holdings there and five holdings there for a capital Duchy would be ideal. Um, it gives us a total of... 
Sorry, five, five building slots. Um, and then we've got, what, one, two, three, four, five? Oh, I don't know. Um, they are the best ones around, with the exception of this guy. We could move our capital there. What's this duchy, then? Duchy of Kebby. Um, it's quite a sizable duchy. I think we probably want to make this one our capital, then. I don't really know. Um, it doesn't have the duchy level. Ah, that's a really hard choice. I think we'll make the duchy of Kebby our capital just based purely on the amount of land we get. Three holding slots there. We've got four holding slots there. If we include this one as well, that's another three holding slots. Um, whereas compared to our capital duchy right now, it's five total, which isn't very good. And then the other one is Katsina, um, which is two, two, two. I mean, yeah, this one's really good. I think I'm going to move over to this one then. We'll give what is essentially the duchy of Gobir. Actually, we'll give one of them. We don't want to give up both of them away because obviously that could cause us some other issues. Let's go to our sister here. And let's go ahead and give you the title of you. Um, becomes independent. Just their rank equaling ours. Oh, of course we're not a duke yet. Right. Okay, that's fine. We did expand a little bit aggressively there, but that's fine. Grant about some prisoners, to be fair. We might be able to pay for it, actually. Oh, they can't. Nobody wants to accept any. Okay, so we've got you for a favor. You for a favor. Bollocks. Well, that makes things difficult, doesn't it? <laughs> Let's wait until we get some, uh... Let's just wait until we get some get some money in, and then we'll worry about it. Um, we can confess. We don't have any stress to worry about, but that's quite nice. Let's go uncover some schemes then in Ghana, seeing as they are the largest uh, largest title around. We should be able to uncover something which we can hopefully use as blackmail. We could always go for that next. Um, maybe just in stewardship briefly to try and fund our realm. Otherwise, it's going to be quite difficult. Expanded way too quickly, that. That's my own bad. Um, don't know why I thought we were a duke. Hello, my son. He's frail. Oh God. Okay, um, what's a frail cheese? Like a crumbly cheese. Um, like a, like a, like a parmesan. Oh god, how the hell does he spell parmesan? Parm, par parmesan? Parmesan. That's why I was confused. It comes from parma, right? But you spell it with an E there, that's why I thought it was the extra E. What a fucking confusing cheese. And that's why you get given to the frail kid. Italy, name your cheeses better. I know that that's not the actual Italian name for it before someone leaves that bloody comment. Oh, it's not actually called that in Italy, you big shit. Right, okay. Um... I guess we'll just sit around for a little while then, and uh, do absolutely fuck all. Because we can't really do anything. Um, to kind of put on edge, but I feel like that's just going to cost us plenty of dollars. We haven't got to worry about a hunt or anything right now either. Um, so I guess it's just a case of bringing in some money. This I'm fine with. Anything that costs piety is alright. And what's this one? This one's hosting a feast. Yeah, we're not going to bother with the feast, because again, we don't, we don't need, need the stress relief. Um, we haven't exactly got any vassals to please either right now, but the Mystic Communion is always quite fun. Oh, there we go. Oh, we got ill. I didn't know you could get ill from that, otherwise I probably would have been a bit more reluctant, but there we are. Okay, so we've got learning lifestyle experience? How close are we? 600 out of 100, bloody hell. So we've still got two more to go for. Uh, do no more than what is necessary. We're ill. We're not on death's door. There we are, we're good. Mozzarella is ready to be educated. Um, did I not give it to the... Oh, the marshal's dead. Uh, what's she being trained in? Diplomacy or intrigue? Well, I guess it's us then. We're off. That's okay. Um, there we are. We're, we're a great diplomat educator. She's already got some propensity for it. Um, so what's our first kid? Martial education. Um, only the employer can change. Oh, that's our, that's our son, obviously. I'm not interested in you. Um, cheddar. Learning education. I mean, that's our heir right now. Um, I mean, learning has its bonuses in this religion, right? Because there's, we, we can come out with a wise man. But I'm just going to disinherit you either way. So, <laughs> missing 27. Oh, sorry, it wasn't that we needed 75, it was that we were missing 75. That's 150 then, that's quite expensive. Um, I'm still gonna do it, because I think there's very little chance we're gonna get a genius other than that. Um, no one must ever know. Never mind, it doesn't fucking matter. Um, apparently we just gained the stress and have nothing to show for it. <laughs> Never mind then. Um, should probably break up with our lover now. Fornicator. Liar, liar, pants on hire. Um, let's... We could get rid of him. You know what? If this kid comes out intelligent, we'll keep him around. If it comes out crap, we'll get rid of him. Um, gonna allow them to oppress the faith. We're gonna press Kerm and the shoot, shoot them of air. We already have one, but I'll take the, uh, I'll happily take the piety for free. I mean, we have a conquest, right? Um, friend of groom to rule. I think we got groom to rule. We might as well double down on our next heir becoming as good as possible. And now we've got peasant revolts. Great. Um, never rally the troops. We've got a daughter. Intelligent. Fine. He wins. We'll keep him around. Um, I need more good cheeses. What about Red Leicester? Uh, Less, Less, Le Less, Leicester. Less, Leicester. We need to have a bloody talk. That's it. There we are. Um, hush now, my daughter. Rally the troops. Get to work. Was that all? Oh, I was expecting a lot more than that. 
Lester is sickly. Just trying to leave it at the back of the fridge then, should you? Done. Easy. Get out of here. Can we ransom you out? <laughs> Excuse me. Do you have any money? Hang on. What am I doing? I'm not raiding. Ugh. I even said this earlier. I should have been doing more raiding in the past. Right. Squad up, boys. We're going to get ourselves some dollars. We've lost money so far. We've gone from 55 to 54. Hey. Good. We're getting a trip pregnant. Of course it's yours. I think it actually is his this time. Otherwise, we'd have had the ability to lie to him, right? Um, we don't seem to be earning any gold from this. I think I've been bamboozled. Do we have to raid our neighbors or can we just raid anybody in CK3? I never remember. Um, 15 loot. Nothing. Oh, you have to return it to your lands, don't you? Uh, idiot. What a fool. I think you have to do that. Yeah, yeah, 33 out of 55. There we are. Sorry. It, it goes to show how little I do raiding in this. Or it goes to how little we've played bloody Vikings or anything like that so far. Um, wow, that's a hard one. Um, cheddar, our heir. Not for long. We'll give you Zealous. Hey, you never know. She might come out so good that we might want to play as her. Aminata. You're really pressing me on the cheese front here. Um, stinky Bishop. Stinky Bishop. That's a type of... That's the type of cheese. And maximum loot. So let's go home. Don't let's get clapped. Oh! Oh, fuck off. Oh, fuck you. Oh, this game. We won. You're so lucky. I was going to really go on a fucking rant then. Okay. We've got gold. 36 of it. Well, it's going to take a little while. But I think if we head up here and just do a circle, that's fine. Um, We're ill. Again. She's constantly bloody ill, this woman. Um, Do them all than what is necessary. We're fine. It's okay. Why are you always ill? Followed by Shadow's achievement. Um, excellent, because we've learned some secrets. Can we blackmail them? Obviously not. Well, we can blackmail them, but uh, we don't have golden obligations quite. Can we swap over? How long have we got on that? Uh, 78. Oh, like two months. We're fine. Okay, hold on. And boom. Right. Let's go over to well focus then for a little while. So is it appropriate, seeing as we're trying to... Oh, that was fast. Um... I'm, I know it's the wrong thing. Uh, you can use a friend scheme. Send gift or heart of the family. Close family opinion plus 15. That wouldn't be so bad if we're going to give out all of our titles to our family members. We're now disinherit our firstborn, which I'm going to be doing. So, uh, goodbye. Disinherit. Sorry. Get roasted. Right. Mozzarella is our new heir. This is good. This is really, really, really good. Oh, we're back again. Good stuff. Right. Let's do a little bit more raiding. I'm hoping we can get golden obligations sooner rather than later so we can put all these, uh, all these, all these discoveries to good use. I suppose we could spend some of the prestige on Man at Arms. Um, we could go just purely raid retinues, but obviously if we do any more warfare, that's going to bite us in the ass. Oh, Sail Horseman. Oh, that's quite nice. Um, and how much are they each? Oh, man, they're actually really good. Oh, they're reinforcing right now, so take it with a grain of salt. We're probably all right. Um, food is such a joy. Mozzarella gains gluttonous. Impatient or shy? Um, trying to be diplomats. That's not going to work. Impatient is okay. I talked about this uh, in the other series, but actually the hostile scheme power 15% and the prestige is quite a nice combo. Um, gluttonous. Stewardship minus 2. 10% stress loss. Attraction of any minus 5. Um, I think we'll just go for impatient. I think that's fine. Kin kin. Um, oh god, I'm almost at my cheese limit. Uh, what, what are the cheeses are there? Um... Oh, what about like Gorgonzola? How do you spell Gorgonzola? Gorgon Zola. No, that can't be right. <laughs> ah, um Gor Gorgonzola. It fucking is. What? Oh. Excellent. Well, there you go. I, I thought I was just being a haha silly silly boy with his Gorgon word, but nope, turns out that was actually it. Brilliant. Trusting me. I would never deceive you, Cheddar. Keeps the trait trusting. Diplomacy? Intrigue minus two. An enemy hostile scheme successes up. Or, contrasting an intent, or we go for fickle. Fickle gives diplomacy, stewardship minus two. Hostile scheme resistant 20%. Focus on the boons she possesses. Um, rubbish. Uh, this is critical stress. Trusting or fickle. Well, let's avoid critical stress up front. Let's confess. I don't think we have anything to disputed heritage secret. No, that's not true. That's a lie. Oh. Oh, no. Red Lester was born. Oh, oh we're not disputing our character's heritage. We're, we're getting the trait for to, <laughs> Fornicator, and we've lost a level of devotion there. We're now a sinner. Um, brilliant. Okay. Uh, I, all this just to make her as good as possible. Let's give her fickle, then. She's going to make a lot of enemies in life, so let's ensure that she uh, has some sort of defense against it. She gold. Hey, that's enough for a duchy, right? Uh, did she Kebby or did she go beer? Uh, Kebby is the one we want to use our 
primary duchy tile, so we'll take that one. Thank you. And then we are. We are a Magia, Magia, I assume is how that's pronounced, or Magia. Um, I want to give this to my sister. Alternatively, we could just wait a few years and land some of our family members, like for example my son, um, who is apparently out of Diplo range. Oh, is it, is your child? Does not have the food. Oh no, he's in Diplo range. He's just uh, not now a court. Okay, that's no problem. Um, Chedadora. Could land you, to be fair. Are we allowed to land disinherited characters? We are. I disinherited her, but I will make it up to her by giving her a title. So she's not allowed to inherit our titles, but she can have her own stuff. Um, and that's definitely not part of our... So we kept to Dutch. Yeah, Kebby goes down a little bit there. So I'm going to give her that one. I'm a generous, generous mother. Here you are. All yours. Uh, she's 11. My god, the responsibility I've given her is is insane. Um, Katsina, what is that one? That's the Duchy of uh, Katsina. So we don't want that one either. Um, we'll give that one to our sister. I think that's fair. Um, sister, get married. For God's sake. What happened to your last... Uh, that's, is that two guys we've married her off to now? They've both died. She's a bit of a black widow. What, what's going on here? They're killing off all her husbands. There we go. Excellent. Um, right, I'm going to give you that title. There we are. And they're both potential alliances as well, so they can never rebel against us, despite all the horrendous things I have planned. It's fantastic. We So uh, now our troops are reinforced. We're down to zero prestige. Got to be careful with that. We are right on the edge. Um, we could just drop our light footmen and stick with our, our horsemen there, but they're okay. Um, and they're fully... Oh, they're not fully reinforced yet either, to bear in mind. So when we're not at war, they should... Yeah, there we go. Plus... 0.2. Not ideal, but it's okay. She landed a son there just because we want to. We want the daughter in reserve just in case anything happens to our heir. If she comes out particularly terrible, she'd have to be really bad for me to ignore genius. But I thought, you know, he's not going to get any lands. So we might as well just dish it out to him. Um, wow, we've really got no chancellors at all, huh? It's a bit annoying. Um, okay, I think I'd rather have you there seeing as we have other options. Oh, fucking hell, what am I doing? Put you there. Put you on... Do they keep swapping over? I think they keep swapping over. Anyway, and then we can recruit you and then just put you on there instead. That's okay. It's still not ideal. It's far from ideal, actually. But it's, it's, it'll do for the timing. We need to go ahead and increase control because none of our places are reinforcing right now. Oh, my husband's dead. That's probably only a good thing. Now we can remarry. Um, how old is she? 38. So we can marry him, who's intelligent. Uh, we can marry that lover of ours that we had who was... Uh, Oh, our genius guy died. Oh, I think I married him off, didn't I? To one of our family members. Or someone who's beautiful. Try and get that into the dynasty as well. Herculean. Oh, that's a big one. Let's go for that one. See if we can potentially end up with some Herculean kids. We've got one that's genius, one Herculean. Let, let it filter through a couple of generations. Then we can bring them back together. But I don't think it's up for a debate that this has been a much more powerful start compared to our original... Well, not more, more powerful start, but a much better start than our um, previous attempt at this. Which was going okay, but certainly not this well. We've expanded extremely fast. Dutch in the first episode. Genius kid lined up as our heir. You couldn't ask for any more than that, I don't think. So, thank you all for watching. I hope you guys are glad about the return of this series. I know a lot of people are saying they missed it. A lot of people are quite invested in it. And I'm, I think we're ready to go. I mean, I like the fact that it's base game too. It means I can learn some more of the base game mechanics. So let's be quite frank, I, I just don't entirely know yet. Um, without the influence of mods or anything. So, thank you to our... Executive producers over on Coffee for their support. Bear in mind, we are moving to Patreon over at November now that they've solved all of their many, many problems. So we will be going back there because it makes my life much easier and should hopefully allow me to provide you guys with a few more kind of rewards, if you want to call it that, benefits, perks, something at least for supporting the channel. Thank you to Chris, James Shea, Kat, Huey, Longdong, Psycho Fear, Spooty, Spo Spooky Booty Banger. That's such a difficult name. Christian Blue, Kekvit Array, Night Rouge, Necrofilin, Alex Scalibur, Nemesis Rubius, Out of All Context, Oliver, Boop, Dork, and everyone else, of course, at the executive producers on Coffee. Thank you all for making the channel possible for yet another series. Thank you as well to Rivet, Panthapearl, Athon, Monster, Noises Dungeon, Dancing Lucifer, Conchawabby, Groggy, Ray Karinga, Sanit Lover, Madness, El Nada, Stonecrower, Pirate Seeker, and Ultra Spider 2000 for their support over on Coffee as well. See you guys all tomorrow for some additional adventures here in Iron Man.